Hello and welcome to another Nikomedia tutorial. So, uh, an hour ago or so, I got a question and I have time to answer this. And this is not a tutorial, this is more a quick tip. Uh, I got a question how to bring out a uh, hexagon from a cylinder. Uh, the guy who asked me, sent me his res result and uh, this is this what he got. And of course, this cannot fun this, this cannot uh, work because we need much more uh, uh, cuts and so. And we don't need. You know me. We don't want any triangles. And you see, his uh, result is this, this. And uh, this should be as uh, from a from a mountain bike from the from a fork. Uh, this part here, this chrome part. Uh, but I said uh, normally I would do this in two parts because I think in in, in real life it would be two parts too. But uh, anyway, I want to show how do you can bring out this, uh, this hexagon from a cylinder. So I just pause a little bit and say good night to my mother. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I am back. Yeah, Skype is important here. So uh, let's start with the cylinder. Boop, 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 boop. And I make a cylinder, so we need a hexagon, so we need six sides, and uh, I need a cylinder with this, which is can be divided uh, by six. So uh, 36 is too much, 12 is too less. Uh, what I need is 18. So with, with 18, I can make a nice, so it's here, I want to see lines. Boop, 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 boop. Go to display, lines and uh, wireframe and here you can make a hexagon so you see one two three four five six sides okay this is exactly what i want and you will see in a second why i want this so uh, i make my cylinder editable so i use my edit optimize script and i delete the point here down i don't need a cap here so I don't have to bevel here so that I get a nice edge. We need just the top here. Next step, I select these uh, polygons. The I for extrude, for inner extrude, I for inner extrude, and extrude it a little bit in. How far you want to go is it's yours. I think I go something like this, a little bit so. Okay, next step, I want to cut. Uh, and I need to take the a line cut. So uh, in 18 and 19, and version 18 and 19, you uh, press K twice, you get the, the line cut. In earlier versions, you, you you press K and go in line mode. And I got I want single line, no, not single line, not make here, no. And I cut through this uh, one, two, three, thumbs. Things, things. Okay, nice. We have this, and what I don't need now is uh, this triangle things here, and, and the outside here, this this uh, edges I don't need. So double click on it. So we can. This is not loop selection. We can't not loop this. So I just double click it here uh, on the. Uh, so I see, and then I hit MN for dissolve. If you have an earlier version, you you go, you just right click and dissolve. Yes, is somewhere here, but you see the shortcut in the US MN. So I have this quotes. <laughs> this we will do, do later. And now simply bring up this a little bit. So E for the move tool. Uh, I have. So, and control drag it down up a little bit, not down, so something like that, should be fine. Good, and that's it more than less. Okay, we have now the triangles, but it should work now. But I, of course, like this it can't work. You put it in the subdivision surface, it looks like this, of course. We need here on the edges, we need extra cuts so that we have uh, closer edges and as smaller this this edges are as sharper it will be so we have the wonderful bevel deformer 
So I select my cylinder, shift click on the paper deformer here, and we have paper. But I don't want a chamfer, I want solid paper. You see, this works. I have by default my angle on and limit on. And the angle is here, I don't want here an, an bevel. I want it just on, on this 90 degree uh, edges. So I go up here with my angle. So you see, now I don't have this anymore and I have just my 90 degree angles here. And if I give it now in a subdivision surface, Hit N either side. I see the other palms. We have a wonderful. So here you see it again. But this may be a little too round here. Okay. That means we need this uh, edges here closer to the main edge here. Main edge. <laughs> uh, to the, the real edge here. So, uh, we can do this quite easily. I select here this and this one. Then I go with MO in the slide tool. MO is the slide tool. And now you see I can slide the edges. And they stay on the other edge. This is exactly what I want. And as closer I go here, as sharper the, the, uh, the edge will be later on. So, and you see the slide tool has a value here. And let's say I put in 10. Okay. And we can watch how this looks. So let's go to the cylinder and let go and make it there. Uh, and now we have a sharp edges. These are very round and here we have a little sharper. If you want it even sharper, sharper. so go to the edge. Oh, we are still in the edge mode. MO for the slide tool again and make another five chuck. So now we have a very hard edge here. Eh? You see? But 10 was for me okay. So I go back here. So. Oops. Oh, doesn't matter. Make again uh, 10 here. So 10. And I do it on the others too. I'm still in the, in the uh, slide tool. Uh, this, this, and uh, MO, slide tool, 10 is here, new transformation, next one, here and here, new transformation, you see this, this goes very fast, everything, new transformation, <coughs> new transformation, and a new transformation, so, now we have a sharper, but we will have here not a nice uh, topology, but it works perfect, you see. We have now a cylinder with a nice uh, hexagon coming out. But we want, the, of course, a nicer mesh. This is, we are not Nicomedia. If we want, we would be uh, happy with this. <laughs> so. I go again here to my polygon mode, I still select it, I for index extrude again, and I extrude it in there, but not too far, not go too far, so, so something like this. And because we want, it, at the end we want just quotes, we want no triangles. So, here, go in the edge mode, I want the edges here, or the points, this point here, and this point here, so that we have a nice topology. And I do it, uh, I want it perfect. So what I do is, I go in the edge mode, select the edges, then MF for edge cut, you see here, I take two selections, N guns is okay, I just want the points here, so I don't want the edges or something else, so N guns is okay, and hit apply. When I go down the point mode, you see, we have here additional points. It's exactly what I want. And now, I go in my life selection, select these two points, for it, for instance, and now MQ for the weld tool, and you see when I go over this, it will be white, I click on it, chuck, and this is exactly in, in the center, so it's totally where I want it. The same I do here, select these two and weld it. 
And you can, with the space bar, you can uh, toggle between the last two uh, tools. That means, you see, I'm now in the well tool, but now I, go, uh, I hit the space bar. I'm in the live selection, so I can select these two. Space bar again, well tool. Space bar again, well tool. And if you hate, like me, this gizmo here, just uh, hit Alt D and you can hide it. So, and spacebar for the live selection, spacebar for the weld tool. And this makes the working quite fast. You see, it can work really fast. So, check. And we are already, we are almost done here. Okay, nice so far. Let's go again in the polygon mode. And I for an extrude again. An extrude or something like here. Okay, and now I could do the same with the points here and bring it a little inside, but uh, there is a nicer way. And uh, I wanna grow my selection with U, uh, with U, Y, I can grow your selection, you see. And uh, I want to uh, convert the polygon selection to point selection. So, uh, but it should should work with the polygon selection tool. Let's try it. With MC, you can go in the brush tool. You see, we have brush, but the brush is only it's quite big. If you hold your middle mouse button and uh, drag to the left, you can make this brush smaller. You, of course, you can maybe uh, set the radius here too. Uh, a little smaller, maybe again. And I don't want to smear. I want to smooth. Go to smooth and now I just hit le left uh, mouse and you see <laughs> it makes it nice so and the next thing what I do what I can do now is easily I have just uh, a few triangles left here these are triangles and I just select every second edge here and dissolve it with MN. So quads, we have just quads. And now we make this funny thing again with, uh, select this point, UY to, to make it bigger, to, to grow the selection. I'll make it it's, so, okay. And well, let's make the funny thing again with the MC, with the brush. And smear again. Let's smear again. Ooh, let's smear again. And you see what we get a wonderful mesh here. We have just quads and nothing else. And it looks great. And of course, whoops, we have a wonderful result here. That's it. So easy it can be. And it's 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 not possible that you can make it nice. So you see, everything is wonderful. So you, and the mesh could win a first prize everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I hope this was uh, helpful for you. And uh, yeah, see you in the next tutorial, hopefully. And yep. Okay, and yeah, I like so, so such uh, so quick tips too. We don't need every time a two-hour, uh, two-hour my her tutorials. <laughs> so, okay. So I say good night. We have here. You see it here, and I, it's it's eleven p.m. here now, and I say good night and best recharge from Vienna and yeah, and again uh, every link you need for the, 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 the plugins and everything you will find everything in the description. And please read the description and always after the tutorial. I get the question, where can I find this? Where can I find this? Where can I? And everything stands in the, everything is written in the description. So please read it and uh, don't overread the uh, donation link and uh, the support for Patreon maybe and so on. Okay, uh, let's go. Uh, yeah, good night and best wishes from Vienna und tschüss und baba.